Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I actually want to talk about something that crossed my mind a little bit earlier on in the day. <clears throat> so recently, um, as many of you are aware, Pink, of, Pink Fox and I have been married for a few months now. Um, but very much more recently, her brother, my brother-in-law, um, actually had just gotten married. Now, as of this recording, it's not recent, it's actually to come, but by the time you guys see this, it will have been very recently. And in the process of trying to make sure I had the two days off to help celebrate it, the first day being the actual wedding, but the second day being like celebratory like party at a, an amusement park that I actually love personally, um, I came across kind of a speed bump that kind of made me think of the topic flexibility in jobs. Now, for the most part, there are a lot of jobs out there where flexibility isn't really an option, especially for those who work jobs like a CNA or anything medical whatsoever, MD, if you're an MD, medical doctor, by the way, for those who don't know, um, you, you could be um, an NA, nurse assistant, which is basically the same thing as a CNA. See, clinical nurse assistant, it's like adding one letter. Um, if, if you have a job much more severe, like a surgeon, anything like this, and you're pretty much stuck in a loop of where it makes it very, 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 very hard to get flexibility. However, there are some jobs out there that create large flexibility circumstances that makes it easier to be able to go, I need this day off, I need these days off, um, so is there something I can do to actually make sure it happens? Places like retail and fast food are the more common ones that actually do this. Um, for example, the current job I have now at Arby's. I discussed uh, the circumstance of the recent events, which, by the way, uh, it to, for confidential reasons, I won't mention the name unless given permission later on down the line, but to my brother-in-law and his now wife, huge congratulations to you guys again. I'm very happy for both Pink Fox and I are very happy for you guys. The only reason Pink Fox is not saying it right now currently with me is because she's, well, she's on the bed dead asleep. I'm actually talking quieter than I sound. I will put that this way right now. But I digress. Um, the flexibility thing is a very nice feature to have in a job like what I have. It's something I'm actually very grateful to, for too. Because what if, what if something happens that off the fly you suddenly need, you know, one specific random day off that where you do work. The nice thing about flexible jobs is that if that happens, you can simply talk to the shift manager at the moment and go, this happened, I need this day off. If I can find someone to like replace my shift or swap shifts with, will that be okay? And for the most part, the answer is yes. It's rare where it's not. The only time it's not okay is when it's like a holiday and you've already agreed um, to be there for it because then you're very limited anyway. But other than that situation, these kind of jobs, retail or fast food, and if I'm missing any type, let me know because I don't know every kind. I think janitorial jobs sometimes can do this as well. Actually... Yeah, I think so, because they're usually, like, part-time, or they're, like, very short, briefed. But I don't know. This kind of flexibility is very much appreciated. It's something I've always adored about the jobs that I've had. Flexibility. Even my warehouse job at Kuru Footwear, before leaving for the current job I have, much love and appreciation to them, by the way, because they really do deserve it. They're great people. Um, and they actually do care about, A, their employees, and B, their customers. Um, 
they were very, very, very flexible and very understanding about the circumstance. That's something that I appreciated about that job, which is what made me love the job in the first place, is because it made me feel more comfortable and welcome there. That's the one thing about flexibility that's very needed in job communities that can actually use it. It shows that you actually care for what's going on at the person's end. Now, this is my personal opinion. This is actually an opinionated statement. It may The way it's laid out may sound like a fact, but it actually is opinionated. I want to clarify that as I'm saying it. But flexible jobs are the one thing that I'm very happy about. In fact, YouTube, these videos I'm doing, very flexible. But I always love staying prepped ahead of time. This video is actually being prepped 12 days ahead of time. I'm trying to catch up to the two-week thing because I like doing that, but there, there's a reason behind that that I've discussed already. But the flexibility once caught up makes it very bearable and very, very appreciated. I get to take my time with what I need to do on my end and anybody connected, like Pink Fox, for example. Um, on the financial standpoint, on her end, it's very easy to manage and balance things out. The more help it is, the more flexible it becomes, and the more the job itself is appreciated. In fact, I can list several individuals the reason they're able to do the job for so long. Like, for example, Markiplier. Many who watch this channel probably know exactly who that is. He has so many members part of his team now you watch his videos and you can you can sense the optimism off him and that's because of all the flexibility he's given because he's not alone anymore even when he was he still felt like he was more flexible on it the one benefit about flexible jobs is it makes you feel more psychologically a sane but b welcomed i don't know these are my thoughts on it how, how, what are your guys' opinions on flexible jobs? Let us know in the comments below. Um, I do want to reiterate before closing off, though, just because I'm saying this does not mean I don't have... I, I, I have equal appreciation for any job. Just because I'm saying what I am about flexible jobs, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate those who can't be flexible. For example, accountants, CEOs, CFOs, teachers, um, doctors, as said earlier, or anybody in the medical field, especially nowadays, um, there are several. Those are kind of the first ones that come to my mind. If you fall under any of these categories, keep in mind I do still have appreciation. I knew there was one I was forgetting. I know this is mid-sentence, but the one I was forgetting was attorneys and people involved in law, like police officers or those who are part of the military of any kind, any status. Those guys as well. All of these categories I show much appreciation for. Many of these categories of individuals are the reason I'm in the position I am right now. Why I'm able to do these flexible jobs, especially the one that this video is involved with. It's much appreciated, and it always will be. With that being said, I'm going ahead and close this off. What are your guys' opinion? Once again, let us know in the comments below. And if you have anything that you'd like discussed on this channel, why not let us know as well? Um, if you want to check out any other discussion rant type videos that have been done prior to this, click the link on this side of my head where there's over 250 at this point. Actually, we might have over 300. I don't know. I haven't looked at the number in a while. Anyway, if that doesn't quite fill your boat, why not check out the video on this side where it'll be something random that the algorithm thinks you guys may enjoy from the channel a bit more than this. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another. See you guys later.